Hello, and welcome to a Checkpoint Tech Bytes video. This is part one of a four part series of videos protecting your mobile workforce with Checkpoint Sandblast Mobile and Microsoft Intune. In this video, we will take you through the configuration steps required to be completed within the Microsoft Intune portal prior to enabling and configuring the integration in your Sandblast mobile dashboard. Topics covered in this video are preparing Microsoft Intune for integration with Sandblast mobile, adding a user group, adding users, Android device enrollment, iOS device enrollment, creating an admin account for Sandblast mobile integration, and creating device compliance policies. Before these instructions, it is presumed that the Microsoft Intune portal has already been configured as the MDM authority and an Apple MDM push certificate has been installed. Also, these instructions assume that this is a standalone Azure AD environment that has not been tied to a company AD account. We will be performing all of these steps in the Microsoft Intune portal. However, the addition of users, user groups, and license assignment could have been done in the Azure AD portal. As such, in this first step, we are going to create a user group in which we will place all users that will have devices registered to Sandblast Mobile. Navigate to Intune Groups and click the New Group button. Fill in the group name and select how users will be assigned to this group. Click the Create button. Once the user group has been created, we will assign the Enterprise Mobility and Security license to this user group so that any user added to this group will inherit the license. This license assignment is required for users whose devices will be managed by Intune. Navigate to Intune, Groups, and select the group you created. Select the Licenses tab and click the Assign button. On the Assign License panel, click Products and then select Enterprise Mobility and Security E5. Click the Select button, click Assignment Options, and click OK. Click the Assign button. Now we will add users. Navigate to Intune, Users and Groups, All Users. Click the New User button. Fill in the required fields of name and username. This username is in the form of an email address within the domain registered to this Azure portal. Clicking the Profile tab allows you to fill in additional user information. Click OK after editing. Clicking the Groups tab, select the user group you created. Click the Select button. Because we do not have an email service set up in this test environment, we must note the generated initial password created for this user. Click the Create button. Go back into the User Profile and select the Profile tab and set the usage location to the country this user will be located if not already set. This step is very important. The usage location must be set. Click the Save button. By clicking the Licenses tab, you can see that the user inherited the Enterprise Mobility and Security E5 license from the user group. Repeat this process for additional users. In this next step, we will show the process for enrolling an Android device to Microsoft Intune. The user will start by installing the Microsoft Intune Company Portal app from the Google Play Store. After installation is complete, the user opens the Company Portal app and logs in with her credentials. Upon use of the initial password, the user is forced to change the password to one that meets the password requirements as set in the Microsoft Intune enrollment policy. The user will follow the instructions and prompts to complete the enrollment. In this next step, we will show the process for enrolling an iOS device to Microsoft Intune. The user will start by installing the Microsoft Intune Company Portal app from the Apple App Store. 
After installation is complete, the user opens the Company Portal app and logs in with their credentials. Upon the use of the initial password, the user is forced to change the password to one that meets the password requirements as set in the Microsoft Intune enrollment policy. The user will follow the instructions and prompts to complete the enrollment. The user must install the mobile device management profile. This next step is optional but highly recommended. We will create an admin account in Microsoft Intune for the Sandblast mobile integration. Navigating to Intune Users, click the New User button. Just like when adding the previous user accounts, fill in the required fields. Select the Directory Role tab and select Global Administrator, and click the OK button. Note the generated initial password created for this user. Click the Create button. Sign out of the Intune Portal session and log back in using the new admin credentials. Change the password when prompted. Sign out and back into the Intune portal with your original admin credentials. In this last section, we will create the start of a compliance policy. This policy will key off the state change as reported by Sandblast Mobile and if the level matches, the user's device will be marked as non-compliant. Additional actions can be created within the policy to limit or block the device's access to the corporate network and data when the device is not compliant. In Microsoft Intune, navigate to Intune Overview and select the Device Compliance tab. Navigate to the Policies tab and click the Create Policy button. Fill in the name field and select the platform to which this policy will be applied. This policy will be for Android devices. Select the Settings tab and then select the Device Health tab in the required device to be at or under the Mobile Threat Level pull-down menu. Select the level that the devices must be at in order to be considered compliant. Your choices are Secured, Low, Medium, and High. The definitions are as follow. Secured. This is the most secure. The device cannot have any threats present and still access the company resources. If any threats are found, the device is elevated as non-compliant. Low. The device is compliant if only low-level threats are present. Anything higher puts the device in a non-compliant status. Medium. The device is compliant if the threats found on the device are low or medium level. If high level threats are detected, the device is determined as non-compliant. High. This is the least secure. This allows all threat levels and uses mobile threat defense for reporting purposes only. Devices are required to have the MTD app activated with this setting. We will select Secured. Click the OK button. There are additional settings that can be configured under the Device Properties and System Security panels. Click the OK button and then click the Create button. While still on the Compliance Policies panel, select the Assignments tab and click the Select Groups to Include arrow. Select the group you created in the first step of this video. Click the Select button, then click the Save button. Repeat these steps to create a similar policy for iOS devices. Stay tuned for the next video, Configuring Integration Between Sandblast Mobile and Microsoft Intune, Part 2 of this four-part series, Protecting Your Mobile Workforce with Sandblast Mobile and Microsoft Intune. Thank you for viewing this Checkpoint Tech Bytes video. Join the conversation on our user community, Checkmates, at community.checkpoint.com. For more information about Checkpoint's mobile security offerings, please visit 
checkpoint.com/mobilesecurity